Hello everybody, this is Gold Glee Gamer one and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Brothers 3. And in this video, we're going to go through World 3. And uh, to start our first stage, um, I'm actually going to use that frog suit I got in the last world. Here. Oh, before we forget, um, since I ended the last video, um, I actually looked up... Um, how many coins you actually need um, to get the White Mushroom House in World 2. Um, it actually was 30 coins, not 20 coins, so uh, my apologies on that. Um, so. so, this stage is actually our first underwater stage. So, and um, The reason why I'm staying on the top is because that's actually the easiest way to get through this stage. And just like that, we're done. Now, if you can keep this invincible star handy, then you can get another one. And uh, for this Toad's house, we're going to get another frog suit. Okay, now this next stage is actually going to get a little more difficult. As in the water, we have something called a boss bass. Now, the boss bass can actually eat you, even if you're super. So, so you want to be careful there. Oh god, I actually wanted to lose the frog suit there, because that will actually make this stage a little bit even more easier. Get away, boss bass! No, 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 no! Ah, thank you. Alright, come on, let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, run, 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 run! No! Ugh, come on. Ugh, thank you. Now, if it was, wasn't good for getting that one mushroom, um, then I would have had a five up. And speaking of stars, time to use one. We get a hammer. Now the key idea to getting through this fortress is to go through the correct door. And I'll show you where that door is. It's not any of these. It's this one. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention him. Yeah, you can also defeat Boom Boom with fireballs if, if you if you have fiery Mario. Ah, I almost had it. All right, let's go. Let's do stage four first. Now, if you don't make it across, then there's this block here that'll help you. Now, 
And now we get a Lakitu. But not for long. Alright, let's hope for something good. Ah. Well, a super leaf is good, but that's not what I was hoping for. Alright, well, time has come to use my next frog suit. Now, I want to hang on to this frog suit as long as possible. There was one stage where I, where I wanted to lose the frog suit, but but here I want to hang on to it, and and you'll see why. See this currents here? Only frog suits can fight currents. And in this room, we can get three one-ups. Oh, it's spade card game time. Alright, now, I might as well show off the Jugum's Clouds right now. And don't worry, I'll actually come back to the stage a little bit later. Alright, this is stage 7. Right now. Now this stage, you, there are actually two ways you can exit. One is through the clouds, and, and if you exit through the clouds, you can also get a Jugum's Cloud. But, but I guess I, I guess I couldn't show that off for you, so I'm sorry about that. Alright, now here's stage six. Now, if you're wondering, like, 
like why I did stage 7 before stage 6 is because, well, I feel as if I have a better chance of completing this stage, stage with Raccoon Mario, than Frog Mario. Now, you notice that boat you see at the bottom of your screen? Now, if you take that boat, well, and you actually need the hammer to access it. Now, it can take you to a couple of Toad's houses and a couple of spade games, but I'm actually going to pass on that boat because um, because, um, the hammer I have, I'm actually saving that for the next world. And uh, because um, I feel that, that the Toad house that uh, most that um, that you can use the hammer for to access or has a much much better better offer but, okay okay actually um okay, okay too much information okay. okay all right well, this is the first world that actually has more than one fortress And here's Boom Boom again. Oh, I actually did it that time! Alright, now this is the first stage where I'm actually going to use a P-Wing. Yeah, remember in stage 3 we had Boss Bass? Well, Boss Bass, he's back again here. Uh, but although this stage is actually a bit more difficult than stage three, so no, so I'm not gonna take any chances. Done. All right, on to stage nine. Now, if you go to the left, you can get to a frog suit, and that's exactly where I'm going to go. There it is. And another spade card game.
And at last, we've made it to the airship. And here are the rocky wrenches again. Okay, I was expecting to lose the lose that um, frog suit because I knew it wasn't going to help me here. Although I will admit, there was one time I was able to hold on to a frog suit for several stages. So, I'm not expecting that to happen again, happen again anytime soon. Oh, and here's a oh, and here's something new: rocket engines. This is Wendy O. Koopa. For each hit, Wendy O. Koopa will, will blast these um, circles. For, um, ah, but there's no need to worry about that. Was uh, she's done. Greetings. The white block contains magic powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. And which is, which is a music block. Alright. And until next time, this is Gold Glee Gamer 1. Later, folks.